Uh, good evening. This is Bob Osborne. Move your thumb. That's better. Uh, this is Bill Field sending in for Bob Osborne. Cute card boy has thumbs like King Kong. Couldn't read it. Uh, tonight we're introducing Charlie's Aunt from 1941, 20th Century Fox, but I wouldn't hold that against them. I have three co-hosts to help me introduce the film this evening, Johnny, George, and the star himself, Jack. I, I think Charlie's Aunt is what inspired me to create dear, sweet, lovable old Aunt Blabby. Who wouldn't love this movie? If you put Jack in a dress, you can take him anywhere. You know, I loved making Charlie's Aunt. I don't know, it was something about having all of those curls. But the bustle was so uncomfortable. I'd rather watch his co-stars, Kay Francis and Ann Baxter. You know, Charlie's Aunt was originally a stage play in London. It opened in 1892. That was the year that Jack turned 39. You know, they loved me at the Palladium. It was originally made into a film in 1925 with Sid Chaplin. He was Charlie's half-brother. Isn't that right, Bill? Charlie Chaplin, that ballet dancer. I'll thank you not to mention his name in my presence again. You know, Bill, I promised Ed I'd try to get your autograph. And again in 1930 with Charlie Ruggles. When they told Jack the whole thing takes place in Oxford, he thought they meant shoes. You know, Turner Classic Movies has shown George Washington slept here, and to be or not to be. But Charlie's Aunt is a premiere for Turner Classic Movies. And while you folks are watching the film, I'm going to play a little concert on my violin for the crew here in the studio. Jack, if you're going to play the violin, I think I should sing. We could do a duet. Run to the roundhouse, Nellie. He can't corner you there. I could sit in on drums. If he plays, I'm leaving. I think Jack plays beautifully. The cat sounds better with his tail in a ringer. I'll be back in an hour and 20 minutes. And now, here from 1941, 20th Century Fox, directed by Archie Mayo, is Charlie's Aunt. <laughs> ¶¶ 